Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mellowcast, the official podcast for the team, the Mellow Fellows. I am your host, Gonzo, and here with me we have Zen, 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 Zen. Hi, Zen. Hi. Hello, Zen. How are you? I'm good, Gonzo. How are you? I am delicious. I am delicious. And, I, you know, I, every time I say delicious, I got to. No, 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 no. That's a lot of nut. So. Good. Hope, hope you enjoy that. That was, that was for everyone. Hell yeah. yeah oh yeah oh yeah so zen this is your first time on the show this is gonna be a good time i'm i'm, I'm gonna have a lot of questions and and stuffs for you here shortly but it's, it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time really? so i'm excited you're excited oh good yeah. Oof. i was kind of nervous you know I, I didn't get any energy there i was like oh no please it's just me no, I'm excited. Trust me. No, so, my lack of energy is literally me being sleepy. <laughs> That's now, why my branding is the way it is. The the name makes sense now. Zen but sleepier. Gotcha. No wonder why people say Zen 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 a lot. They're trying to. They're not saying your name. They're trying to wake you up. Exactly. It all makes sense. I got you. I got you. All right. I'm I'm catching what you're throwing here. Okay. All right. Okay. So. How long have you been streaming on Switch? Give me, give me the whole full rundown. Well, you know, when did you start? How did you start? Why did you start? I listen. Talk, talk to me like I don't know you. Well, I started streaming like I, I did like one-off things for people and like friends in Discord here and there, but I didn't like officially start streaming until August sixth of twenty twenty. And a big part of my inspiration to start streaming was actually the Mellow Fellows. When I first hit that go live button, that was my goal, is I wanted to start streaming and be a part of this team. That's <laughs> a, that's a great that goal. I got invited, I, I cried a lot. Aww. But one of my other goals was I wanted to make friends. Like I wanted to make more friends uh, doing this. And have a good time. And I feel like I have succeeded at that for sure. I've made a lot of wonderful friends. Friends, friends are lovely, especially on the mellows. There's a lot of friends to be made. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, um, I'm glad that, that you, you found the motivation for streaming, uh, you know, to, to be part of this team, really. And... You know, it goes to show you that a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of good people on this team. There's a lot of just, you know, people who are here to help you and, and, and you know, be friendly with and, you know, hope you know, maybe even be IRL sometimes. Oh, yeah. Eventually, that's going to be, you know, something. <laughs> one, one, one would hope, right? One would hope. <laughs> like, Eventually. Yeah, yeah, we know we've just been internet friends for about 18 years, never seen the person in person, but you know, that's okay. It's fine. I, I kind of know what they look like. You know, I, no, actually, like one of my cousins, um, she just ended up marrying her uh, best friend, like who was like, they were best friends online for like 12 years. And wow. it was like, like maybe not marrying somebody that I met online, but but definitely you know hanging out and having a good time is probably something that's like destined to happen. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, uh, like I, I met my wife over um online. Actually, she I, I called her my stalker because she was in my like, Twitch chat for about I think like two months and didn't say a word. She was a lurker. And uh, yeah, it's uh, she. I remember she she received a gifted sub from someone, and ever since then she's been talking. And here we are, five years later, getting married. Hell yeah! But sometimes you know, is, you never know. You never know. You never know who you meet online. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, so what what games do you say? What would you say that you typically stream? on on twitch or wherever you wherever you else you stream so on twitch mm -hmm. i do stream a variety of like it's mostly consists of multiplayer games like the main thing unfortunately is uh dead by daylight 
Um, and that's mostly because um, when I first started streaming, a lot of the people like that raided into me were all Dead by Daylight streamers because that's honestly what you know what I started watching on Twitch when I you know first started really watching Twitch was a handful of people. At first, it was I, I started watching a friend that I met on uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Mm-hmm. And then they raided um, someone who was playing DBD. And I got interested in that person's community. I was still largely a lurker at that point. And eventually I, you know, I, I got comfortable enough to, you know, talk. Um, and then that person raided um, another Dead by Daylight streamer. Um, uh, I'll call him Moo. Moo mm-hmm. is good. Mm-hmm. And then I got invested in Moo's community because they're also non-binary like uh, like me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then eventually from there, um, after a few streams in that community, they raided Wes on Dreed on the, on the team. And that was Wes was the first mellow that I met <laughs> and hung out in his chat. Oh. And almost immediately I just like I, I felt at home. And a bunch of other mellows were showing up in his chat. Um like Web of Shadows, but this was before he was a mellow. Uh Web wasn't a part of the team yet. Um then you know, I started hanging out in Web's community because, like, I, I I checked his streams out and I was just like, oh shit, they're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I started playing with them. That's like the first time that I actually ventured into playing uh, games with a streamer. And then Web one night raided Alex, and it's just like it was just like a whole domino effect of I, I met so many. Uh, streamers on the Mellow Fellows, and then the majority of the streamers are like uh, the majority of the people I met was um, that year in 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys were doing a charity event for Extra Life, and I, I had so many laughs. And at that point, I was uh, getting uh, a lot of unemployment money because I worked a lot of overtime at the job I was at um, before the one that I got fired for because of the accident. Right. Uh, everybody, like everybody that's in my community, is aware of the accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not gonna like go too in depth into that. Right. Right. That's fair. That's, huh. Not exactly what we're here for, but you know, but it's we're, we're a here about big you. <laughs> part, yeah, it is a big part of why I ended up, you know, streaming was because I was also in recovery from uh, that. I was trying to find a job that wouldn't be too harsh on my uh, on my body at that point, and I couldn't really, you know, find anything. But I was still well off with like the unemployment for a while, so I was just like, okay. This the, like the the streaming, you know. I thought maybe that also might help with uh, my mental health as well, um, and, and make the process of going from jobless to job easier. Mm-hmm. Plus, we were also in a pandemic, which caused me issues. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, pandemic can definitely do a, a lot to. To many people, it actually has done a lot to many people. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Um, having something else to do. Plus, I already played a lot of uh, games, anyways. So it just kind of streaming just made sense to me uh, to actually start doing that. And, and like I said, I took a lot of inspiration from uh, the Mellow Fellows because I saw you know so many people on the team were just being themselves Hmm. and and a lot of people now come to me for streaming advice and that's my biggest piece of advice is to just be yourself and just kind of you know chill (laughs) (laughs) and hang out and have fun with it yeah Uh, because you know if i wasn't having fun streaming then i don't think i would be you know i guess like 
I'll, I'll call it successful because I have met my goals with streaming. Um, every last one of them, because, you know, it, it was making friends, being a part of the mellows mm -hmm. and, and, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, just having fun, knock out some of this backlog. And I've still got a long, long way to go because it's just like every time that I feel like I make progress, it's just like it's doubled in size because I found new games that I want to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always keep adding to it. It's a never ending cycle. It's a never ending cycle. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. I play a lot of games. I, I, um, one of my big focuses with um, my content is I want to like make everything more interactable. Mm -hmm. So like, um, I have my own nut button, but it's a little bit different from yours. Oh, um, to redeem on my stream, and this is the most used redeem in the history of uh, ever, and I only added it like two months ago. Um, so, um, the nut button sound plays and Deku nuts are thrown at my face <laughs> and not many people know, but it is exactly 69 Deku nuts. Oh, <laughs> and 69 is in the price. <laughs> gotcha. But, gotcha. But, That's good. You know, <laughs> one of my, like, one of my favorite things is like, I myself am not like, a you know super sexual person mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. i do enjoy making jokes a lot so so a big one is uh there goes blade nothing on me again <laughs> <laughs> imagine nutting on me gun oh. how could you <laughs> the context of it all it's so good <laughs> it's, stupid. it's so good and i have a lot of like redeems where people can throw things at my model i'm a vtuber by the way uh, i didn't start as a vtuber but i am now <laughs> and i enjoy it quite a lot that's good um, that's good but yeah i have a lot of um throwable redeems uh but it, the the nut one takes the cake for sure mm -hmm. that's, it, not, that's not bad it's not bad i dig it yeah <laughs> Um, very good button yeah i i noticed that a lot of people start typically start um you know with the webcam and then they, they kind of roll have been rolling into uh vtubing is, is there any particular reason why is is it easier is it something that you know you you just find oh. better to to use or well when i first started um like vtubing was actually because I had gotten my original model as a Christmas present um, from Iyashi. Um, <laughs> I mm. heard you interviewed her yes. uh, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. but, and then um, I was getting over COVID and I felt like I was looking absolutely awful. Um, so I would use like a um, reactive PNG instead of like, you know, my camera. So at least there was some representation of me mm -hmm. and like the, the character that you'd see in um, the like, like my profile picture and whatnot, like the blue haired fox girl yeah. who still has no name. So I've just been saying it's a self insert at this point. Um, but, you know, originally it wasn't even supposed to be, you know, the VTuber character. It was just an OC that I liked. And I based my characters in games off of it. Mm -hmm. And then it became, you know, what it is now. <laughs> and has evolved a lot over time right. as well. Is like right now, if you do go to my streams, I'm using a free to use model that is uh, closely um, made to look like my actual like character. Yeah. But <laughs> and eventually that, that'll change. Um, I'm in the process of designing um, a new 
um, model mm -hmm. type thing. I, I might make the model myself, but I might actually have somebody else do it because I am running into so many difficulties and um, my, my dumb baby fox brain can only handle so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually another thing that has evolved over time is like by branding. I've like lately um, been um, branding myself as a dumb baby fox. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't. No, you can't say that. <laughs> and, and it's not like I, I'm not like saying it to like insult myself. It's just because it, it's mostly because I make a lot of silly little mistakes, and mm -hmm. it's just a silly little nickname. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. You know, everybody's you know, you know, the the dumb baby juice. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Uh, that that was the thing back when I was in school. Was everybody would joke about drinking the dumb baby juice? I I, I guess I had a little bit too much of it. No, <laughs> no it's okay. <laughs> the, the the good thing the good thing that people don't you know I feel don't have nowadays is that they can just joke on themselves and mm -hmm. laugh about it because some people take offense too quickly. I feel in certain situations. And for sure, it, it, it is nice to just have, you know, even to, towards me, like I people joke towards me all the time and I'm always just like laughing it off and it, it doesn't bother me. And I feel like it's better that way that, you know, you don't let something bother mm -hmm. you for whatever reason. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> like. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap that one around my head here. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's good. Uh, I, I, in in yeah, uh, another like part of the 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 dumb booby fox um branding that has come up late is a lot of people take the like the the bully the streamer mentality, and I have like you know we we like we bully each other. Me and my community. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of funny, but you know, it's all in, it's all in good fun and nobody's saying something that would actually hurt somebody. Right. Right. That's like, like, um, I used to like, whenever I'd be playing DVD with some friends, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, there was a joke that, that, you know, Somebody called me Red Foreman because I called them a dumbass. I was just like, why did you bring him to me, a dumbass? Nice. I told you I was here. <laughs> it's like, I oh, don't know, dumbass. It's just like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is this is completely okay. I can deal with this. <laughs> it's just like, Sometimes the DVD streams can bit, uh, get a little bit out there and I'm just like, damn, am I really representing this team? Is this really how it is to be mellow? And I'm just like, yes, yeah, no, it's, it's exactly. Fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> Listen, our standards are fine. really high. You hit every one of those standards. You're good. If you haven't I lost your job, if you haven't lost your job by now, then you're, you're okay. Trust me. If Leon is still on the team, after he tortures <laughs> Alex almost on a daily basis. If he's he's been on the team since it started, by the way. So if he's on, you're good. Anyone can be on at this point. At least that's what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Good times, good times. All right. So For sure. I, I, I you know, I, I was given some some things from some people. And I was told that you're quite unhinged to say the least a little bit just just a little bit i'm i'm, I'm gonna read what i what i was was given from from something i'm concerned <laughs> um, I, bet, I, bet, I, I i bet i know exactly who um, that stuff. zen but sleepier writes they want to challenge my cock collection <clears throat> completely out of context i would assume um I have another uh, another screenshot here of a view. I can't even think of the context for that either, but I remember seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> also, another one here is uh, 
Detailed writes, it's rabbit season. Zen but sleepier writes, duck season. <laughs> Detail says, rabbit season. Zen says, dick season. <laughs> Care to explain the, uh, the context there? On both um, the cock and on the other cock? <laughs> I can't remember what the, um, the, the context for... Uh, the cock collection uh, was. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of nut right there. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, but I do remember the the dick season one was. Um, I was actually hanging out in Alex's chat and he was playing duck season. Um. And we we were jokingly arguing because you know the 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 Looney Tunes. Uh, skit. Go on. And it's, uh, <laughs> that, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else you want to add to that? Mm, not that I can think of. <laughs> Okay. All I'm, right. I'm waiting. I'm sure you've got more. Oh, I, I, I I've, got, I've, I've got a couple special ones here. Just you know. It's, you know, the, the <laughs> usual blade, uh, you know, can't lie, nutting on Zen, it's fun. <laughs> nut, nut, nut. Just, just, you know, add, add a context to a lot of, a lot of the nutting that's going around in Zen's chat. And then, uh -oh. uh, uh, Zen but sleepier writes, I'm like a polar poop site. <laughs> hmm. I have questions. Oh, no, no, I have questions. What does this mean and why am I reading it? <clears throat> the polar opposite, not a poop site. The, the, the entire viewing crowd right now wants to know why you are like a polar poop site. We could, we, we could put up the screenshots later, but. A polar poop site. Yes. Because you know the 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 letters O and P are a little bit close to each other, and I when it comes to typing, I'm a little bit dyslexic. So so so, so you typed. I mean, they literally ran next to each other, but uh, instead of so, opposite, it's poop site. So you put poop site. Was this on mobile? Uh, no, it was on keyboard. Gotcha. I was at my computer at the time. This was only a few see, days ago, too. <laughs> see, see, I was, I was trying to give you a cop out here. I was like, yeah, no, totally mobile. You know, sometimes uh, the, the the text, you know, fixing feature just um, yeah, no, no, no totally, uh, definitely mobile, and certainly not me having um, bad fingers that <laughs> have a mind of their own. I think this and was. Just I want to get me in trouble. I believe this was completely intentional. You wanted to write poop site, but but you framed it as opposite. I got it. I understand. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that. That was a good one. I didn't. I didn't know that was a. That was a context there. That's good. That's good. I yeah. There, there's a lot of context to some of the things that I've said. But I really want to know about this cock collection. They, they want to challenge my cock collection here. I don't know what the context for that one is. All right. So as, all. as you can see, to all of our viewers that are listening, um, Zen is completely unhinged and it's great. <laughs> All right, this is this is what it means to be mellow. All right, this is more like a mellow at night, you know, after dark kind of special. Definitely uh, falls in line with with um, you know what Zen uh, likes to do at at night. Apparently, blade nutting on her, talking about poop sites and her, her cock collection <laughs> being uh, challenged or something. I don't know. There's there's a lot that goes on 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 Zen on Zen's uh, stream. So definitely go check Zen out. It's Twitch.tv slash Zen, but sleepier. So we 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 can possibly blame the the sleepiness too. You know, at, at times. I'm I'm just trying to help Zen out here, right? <laughs> uh, that that sounds good. Yeah, we'll, we'll blame my sleep. The or the lack of, right? The lack of. <laughs> 
So what's a what's an average day for Zen? Like, what, what what would you do from the start to the finish? Talk to me. Well, lately in my in, in my daily life, um, I've been I've been filling out a lot of job applications, trying to you know find um, something to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll do that for a couple hours, and then um, uh, usually you like not lately because of um, some things that have been going on. Right. But usually after my couple hours of that, around noon on or Eastern Standard Time on Keg, you'll find me streaming retro content. Ooh. Um, yeah, I've been working through Majora's Mask, and this is like the first time I'm actually like playing through the, the full game vanilla in 15 years. Um, it was one of the very first games that I played. And the first one that I completed by myself, not 100%, by the way, because I was like six years old. And, okay, okay. You know, yeah, at I, the time. I, um, <laughs> yeah, I've never actually beaten. The only Zelda game that I've truly actually beaten for the first time recently, actually, was Link to the Past. And it was on the Game Boy Advance version. Oh, nice. Yeah. Link to the Past is good. Never, never played a Zelda game. Other than that mm. one. I feel like uh, Zelda is my favorite game series. And I feel like of the Zelda games, um, tied for my most favorite is Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, mm-hmm. which, you know, those are the two uh, like darkest in the series. And I'm um, playing through Majora's Mask again after 15 years has like i feel like i've gotten a lot more appreciation for the game uh now than i did when i was that young uh, back when i first played it why do you think that is is it because as we get older we we just understand things more or is it just because you're playing it in a different light i feel like it's a little bit of both uh, for sure, but mostly because now that I'm older, I am understanding a lot more things that are, you know, mm-hmm. go on with the game. I did not put my stone cutter down. I'm sorry. I'm still, you know, Valheim stuff. Right, I, think, I, lo- I, like, I love me some Valheim. Don't worry. Giving my hands something to do, um, and you know, still jogging the brain. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, mm-hmm. doing the thing. I I got Valheim from uh, one of the teammates, uh, Blue Pulsar, uh, for Christmas, mm-hmm. and I put in like two hundred hours within like the first couple weeks of having it. Valheim <laughs> is definitely I was just, like so invested in this game. It is. <laughs> it is one of those addicting games where you you can do almost anything. You can fight. You can uh, you know farm, mine, build. A lot of a lot of people love the building in that game. It's just mm-hmm. so much so much you can do in it. It's fast almost. That's what I am actually doing right now is I'm building a barn on my, you know, base area. I've settled on a spot that is uh on the edge of like the meadows and the plains, so I can grow all the crops here. And I've got a drawer village right behind my house. Um, so I can, you know, easily go get entrails and stuff like that there. But right now I'm building a, a barn so I can move my animals from my old base, which is on the original continent, to the new base. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't take me too long. I'm just afraid that my boars are going to fall out of the fall out of the boat. Right? And, when I first got this, I did stream it a bit, but lately it's been an off stream thing. Right. Um, because um we we had a bunch of hype when I had first gotten it, um, where a lot of us were playing it like system and and blue was playing and a few people from each of our communities were also, you know, hanging out with us. We got a mellow server too. <laughs> that we've all been doing stuff on. Yeah. But things have kind of chilled out 
and sometimes it's maybe one or two of us online, but usually I've been playing by myself lately. Gotcha. Just building. Just hanging out. I love to farm it. I'm, I'm a big farmer gatherer type. And mm -hmm. that's just, I, I don't know what it is about it. I, I just, I find a nice Zen <laughs> Zen <laughs> in, in just getting the same thing and, and just bringing it back and going back and getting more of it. Cause I feel like I'm being extremely helpful, you know, but like, that's my yeah. strong suit. Yeah. And like, you know, it's, it's very, you know, relaxing. It too. is. It is. It kind of just get lost in it, and I love that. That's that's mm -hmm. just what I love. I uh, so peaceful at times. The majority of the times that I've died, though, have not even been to like enemies or anything. It's been building my houses. Because mm. like when when it comes to building in this game, I'm, I'm I've been very go big or go home in building like you know massive structures. Like I've got, um. My newest house is actually a three-story, almost looks kind of like a Victorian mini mansion type deal. Yeah. With like a covered porch and a, there's a wraparound porch around the like, you know, backside as well. But, you know, I've got the, the main floor, the upstairs, it's got like the, the bed and like crafting stations are all over the house. And then I also... Took the time and dug out a basement. And getting the basement just how I wanted it took forever. And while I was doing the basement, I made the realization that I don't know how to explain it, but I'm kind of like the, the house is kind of diagonal from like, you know how like in, in, in Minecraft, everything is like square. All the um the, the the Valheim tiles are also sort of squared off. So digging out that basement was a challenge that I didn't realize that I was going to have. Mm. And now I wanna like I, I actually installed a mod that allows me to plant bushes in places. And now mm. I, I, I need to, you know, finish planting bushes so we can hide the the little uh bits of uh basement that are peeking out right <laughs> yeah. basement for storage upstairs is the bedroom and like the main floor is cooking and you know crafting stations all over <laughs> oh, and i want this to like there there will be multiple buildings but it's just gonna be a cozy little settlement have my boars and my chickens in the in the barn so, uh, Everything will be so, all golden. so I'll take it that you like to play a lot of the cozier games, a lot of the farm sims, a lot of building sims, right? Yes. Um, I, I quite enjoy those, but like in, in terms of like analytics, those are what do the worst for me. So I tend to avoid streaming them, but I play a lot of them off stream. Mm. Um, like, uh, Palia or Palia or however you want to say it. A yeah, bunch yeah. of mellows and I have been playing that one. It's the 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 MMO uh, farming sim. Yeah, I saw that. It actually looks really, really fun. Baby. It is. I I love it. Is uh, it. Lately, I've been only really logging in to water my crops every <laughs> um, hour, if I can remember. Okay. Um, but uh, I'll, sometimes I'll play with like Sakuma and uh, Plasty will play together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Go fishing with Yashi. Heck yeah! Oh, I I love fishing in a lot of games. I I just I I started fishing in real life not so long ago, and but I've been fishing in games for quite some time, and I just love it. Any mini game that or any game that has a fishing mini game, I'm on it like for a while. Yes, me too. Like um. I think the first game that I actually played uh, with a fishing mini game, because uh, I don't remember there being one in Majora's Mask, but there definitely is in Animal Crossing, and I have played a lot of that. Oh, Every yeah. one of the mainline Animal Crossings, whether it's the original uh, New Leaf, City Folk, Wild World, I've spent at least a thousand hours in each of them. <laughs> <laughs> And I have no regrets because that was just like, 
um when i was younger i didn't like have access to too many games but that was one that i always did because my parents saw how much i enjoyed it um it you know it, and like now i i, I pre-ordered the um new horizons mm-hmm. i have um 1100 hours in animal crossing the newest one those are rookie numbers all <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> they, they they definitely are and i i'm like i'm gonna go ahead and blame streaming for that uh, uh. because i'm playing a lot more games than just animal crossing i have streamed it like once mm-hmm. uh, but for the most part I, I'm, I'm playing other things like um cult of the lamb is one there's a little bit of farming and fishing in that one too Mm. Sort, of, sort of you know um farming sim but also what what is it called roguelike i think yeah. i think that's what it, the, that's what they're called i i've never understood the difference between roguelike and roguelite uh, honestly me neither i just i just play them <laughs> it, yeah I I like Cult of the Lamb because it's a little bit of everything that I, you know, I enjoy. And it, it, it's also, you know, got a little bit of a darker theme. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As well. I remember when that game came out, everyone's on it like white on rice. Mm-hmm. Everyone was on it. Mm-hmm. I still and have, it's really good. <laughs> I've so. yet to play it, but I've been part of someone's cult a few times and I've been sacrificed and uh, for good things. And I apparently I wanted poo. From the the master or whatever, and I'm like, oh god, why, why me specifically? I really just, I'm like, I'm I'm desi- dying to eat a, a bowl of poop. Will yes. you please make it for me? Yes, that exact <laughs> scenario, and I was like, it just had to be me, huh? It just had to be me. I have had to make poop for so many followers that have like asked me that. Uh, <laughs> it's just like so weird. It's like why? Uh, <laughs> and then I purposely feed Alex the poop. <laughs> oh, wow! You know what? Fair, fair. <laughs> it was like there, there was a period where he was just like getting absolutely no sleep, and, and I was playing that, and I, it was like, there's a necklace that you can gift your followers that uh makes it so they can never go to sleep um well they can get rest if they certain uh things that you can make your uh followers do Mm -hmm. uh, will make them exhausted so you have to put them to rest or put them to sleep i should say not not to rest because that sounds like you're killing them yeah that's that's not what i'm talking about (laughs) yeah you're totally just killing them slowly i know it's okay Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, so, so sometimes you still gotta, go, you know, gotta make them lay down on their beds when they're, you know, too exhausted to do things. But right, right. I'll have Alex um, awake all night working in the farm while everybody else gets to rest, hmm. and he was the only one with the necklace. I wonder why. <laughs> Is I mean? <laughs> is is this how you treat the boss penguin here? That 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 works hard for us and pays us well and loves this team. Mm-hmm. Because he picks on me too, so <laughs> I, I feel like I have every right to pick on him back. <laughs> you know what? Fair. I Fair. consider him a close friend, and I would never actually do anything to you know legitimately you know hurt anybody at yeah. least not intentionally oh, of course of course uh, I'll, I'll send you the check in the mail so <laughs> <laughs> Pay, paid actor you know it's okay Shh. make sure you make yeah. sure we, we love alex here yes we do yes we do yeah we we, <laughs> we, we love to feed him our red and blue shells oh and, and sometimes the green ones oh you mean the um uh mario kart right Mm-hmm. he's no. gotten into mario kart again recently and uh so have i i've taken a deep dive into mario kart Oof. and now we play mario kart on mondays again well that's a good thing <laughs> yeah. i think i think maybe possibly probably <laughs> so what would you what do you think of his really really long streak of days in a row of streaming 
I could never see myself doing that for like health reasons, but mm -hmm. I am like very impressed with how long he went, you know, streaming for that long. It, it is incredible. Now, he, now, does that motivate I, you to, to maybe stream more or less? I feel like part of that has like motivated me to, you know, I kind of like, I feel like it sort of has motivated me to stream more, but, it, you know, also just like the positive interactions that I've had with my community as well has been a serious motivation. <laughs> I just saw the gift that he posted in the mellow core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no. Yes. Yes. Doing the, the, the walk of shame. Uh-huh. <laughs> It do be like that sometimes. Yep. <laughs> All right. So do you have any, uh, any last words or final comments you want to just, you know, maybe share, uh, any final thoughts? Um, so that we can wrap this up a little. Um, uh, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head other than like, I'm really excited to like, like, I, I don't foresee myself, like, stopping streaming anytime soon. Well, that's good. That's a, that, that's a great because thing. Yeah. Keeps you going and, you know, it's I me new friends. I genuinely enjoy it. Um, it's done so much good for my mental health. Um, like, obviously, I, I said I wasn't going to get into it on this, mm -hmm. but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, things have been rough. And, like, things have been rough for, like, everybody. But I, I feel like... If it wasn't for, you know, streaming, making the friends that I have ha made, uh, having such an incredibly good community and an incredibly good team to be a part of, um, I, I can't, like, imagine where I'd be or if I'd even be at this point, honestly. Well, we are happy to have you on the team. We appreciate you. And uh, if you ever need us, you know, we're, we can do what we can and you know ne never be afraid to uh reach out especially with the team you know we're always here trying to do wh whatever we can for you so mm -hmm. and but, i also feel the same to anybody else i also like to be uh here for everybody <laughs> whenever i can that's good i mean the, the the team itself is a family it's extremely family oriented i feel and you know, we, we do well to, uh, you know, be there as much as we can for each other to, to a certain extent, of course, you know. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, thank you again, Zen, for hanging out. Um, let us know where we can find you, like, like all your socials and all the good stuff, maybe toe pics, for, you know, OnlyFans. Or, I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> not the <No>. OnlyFans. <laughs> no, I'm not Sorry, there. Sorry, I said only hands. Sorry, only, only hands. Only hands. Only hands. Okay, mm. well, I've posted my left hand on my Twitter. Oh, don't uh, say not that. Too Oof. long ago. <laughs> don't say that. Um, That's free content right there. <laughs> we, you know, just just a little pink. Yeah. You guys don't get to see the right hand though. Oh so man. The right hand is my little secret. That's the best one. <laughs> Fun fact: I have very small hands. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong nope. with that. And I am on um on Twitch, on Kick, and on Twitter as the same name on all three. Um, Zen but sleepier. Uh, I have a YouTube account, but I'm not active on it. Um, and I'm also like you know, constantly online on Discord. So if people ever want to reach me, um, it's it's not very hard at all, really. It, okay. Yeah, I'm really not active anywhere else. I, I mean, I do have accounts in several places, again, with the same uh, name for the most part. Um, but that's generally where you'll find me is, you know, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord, and nice. kick. <laughs> <laughs> and now kick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of people are streaming or at least testing the waters on kick, and it's a it's a good good way to uh, you know reach out and branch out somewhere else other than Twitch, to see if you know things work and 
or maybe even try something new. Mm -hmm. so, definitely. Well, I well, think yeah. it's all right. I like the retro community on Kick a lot. It, I, I, I might have to try that out because I've heard a lot of good things of, of, about the retro community on Kick and. The retro community on Twitch is hit or miss. They have like their obvious streamers that they go to, but I feel like they're not willing to branch out as much. So, oh, yeah. so I, I definitely might have to try kick and, and experience what it's like over there for a bit. You know, and maybe I might do the retro stuff there. Who knows? Or, you know, dual streamer. We'll figure it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, but thanks again, Zen. I appreciate you. Um, we'll, we'll we'll definitely have you back on, and we'll meme some more. We'll we'll talk about Cox and nutting on you and the the usual OnlyFans stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, appreciate you. Yep, I cannot wait. Yay! I am glad to be here. <laughs> we'll we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll bring in Blade to to bring in more context about that. <laughs> oh. Oh my god! Yeah, that's gonna be <laughs> lovely. Make sure you stick to, stay tuned to that. As uh, that's gonna be a thing in the future. Don't you worry. Again, it's a they... special episode of uh, you know stories from me and Blade. Oh, <laughs> special edition, oh <laughs> Metal After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a lovely rest of your time, and make sure to stay tuned for uh, other future episodes with other members, and we'll bring back Zen and. Yeah, I'm Gonzo. This is Zen. We're signing off. See you.